Hey guys, what's up? Alex here, uh, laughing a little bit about how ridiculous I might look uh, doing this or how ridiculous I will feel after doing it. Uh, or maybe just nervous laugh, which I'm not that nervous, really. I want to share with you something that I haven't shared with that many people. I want to share with you more about my romantic life. I want to share with you uh, specifically, I'm petting my dog. Uh, my experience with a girl, my story with her, um, until now. So if you're interested, uh, watch the whole video. And be fucking patient, okay? Because it might take 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, but I promise you that if you pay attention, you will learn a lot of fucking lessons valuable things that will help you and others so last December the second of December uh, this girl and I started to get to know each other we started uh, talking we started to invest on in each other energy time and attention and um, we started uh, making plans and we started uh, telling each other very cute and sexy things and I told my family, my mom, dad, my sister, and uh, my best friends about her, and I think she did the same thing. Um, so things uh, excited me, you know. Uh, by the way, I'm very picky. I am uh, very selective. Uh, I've never had a girlfriend. Uh, last year, I went out with four different girls. I think and I had casual sex with like 20 different girls and most of my romantic life uh, I've been very clear and very honest and uh, very direct with girls and I say most of my romantic life because yes maybe the first uh, years I don't know when I was 14 15 16 17 I wasn't that honest and I learned hard way uh, the value of being fucking transparent and the value of not telling half truths and I just hate fucking lies and I hate playing fucking games and uh, hurting people so I've always been very honest uh, with these girls uh, and with people in general and with myself uh, I think so I really started liking this girl, you know, I thought, man, this is someone that I would date. This is someone that I would uh, like uh, to have as a girlfriend. And uh, my perception was that once I was very obvious that I really like her and that I wanted to date her, uh, she started to invest less energy, attention, and time. That's my perception, and I'm sure she has different perceptions, and I would love to know which they are. Uh, but that's what I felt, you know? I felt, and there were different things, little stupid things that you might think are ridiculous that I didn't like or that bothered me or that made me worried um, or uncertain but it wasn't about those little things it was about uh, me wanting to fucking connect with her me wanting to fucking get close to her uh, me wanting to fucking feel her more and feel each other more. And I felt, I perceived that she, uh, on the other hand, wanted to uh, not connect too much, not uh, feel too much, uh, not get too close uh, to me, which I understand now. And I think this happens a lot in relationships, right? Uh, one person tends to uh, 
be more intense than the other person or more uh, active than the other person in showing him or her how much you want to be with them, how much uh, you like them. Now I know that it doesn't have to be that way. Now I know that it should be mutual. It should be like a fucking ping pong game, you know? Uh, I give to you and you give to me. I give to you and you give to me. Because no matter how much you like someone, if they're avoidant, if they're uh, afraid of connecting, uh, if they want to feel like, super independent or free, it usually doesn't work with them. It's not only until people realize that committing to someone doesn't equal losing freedom and getting close to someone and connecting more with someone on different levels doesn't equal a losing your independence. It's not until people realize that, that relationships can actually uh, be powerful. So I perceived, I felt that she didn't feel comfortable getting too close to me. And like, for example, one of the things uh, that happened is I went to New York with my best friend uh, to spend New Year's Eve. And like a couple of weeks before me going, she said that she really wanted to spend New Year's Eve with me and that uh, she would do anything or she was gonna do everything possible and even the impossible to spend New Year's Eve with me uh, in New York City. And like a week before uh, me going to New York, uh, she said that she wasn't gonna be able to go because her family wanted to uh, spend New Year's Eve with her, which I understood perfectly. I mean, she's 18. Uh, it's perfectly understandable that her family uh, wanted to spend New Year's Eve with her. So it was cool and I told her that after New York City, I would go see her um, wherever she would be at, you know, she's a model and she travels a lot. Anyways, uh, I arrived in New York and she writes me a message telling me that she was gonna go to Cancun uh, the next day uh, for work, apparently. and. I was fucking pissed, you know? I was like, fuck. And not pissed at her. I was pissed at the fucking universe and life and pissed that I was at a fucking New York City and not at Cancun. Because I live in fucking Cancun. So, I was very pissed, man. And later that night, everything cooled down and I think she wanted me to trust her more. Uh, so, you know, uh, she shared with me and I shared with her our Facebook accounts. And, uh, you know, I really appreciated that. I appreciated uh, the uh, trust and I appreciated uh, you know, just the transparency. Um, but there were also, okay, here's where things get interesting. <laughs> uh, there were also lots of things that I didn't like, you know, I just didn't like uh, that she would take a long time. And this goes back to what I mentioned about her 
in my opinion, not wanting to get too close to me, consciously or unconsciously, uh, and not wanting to feel too much and to invest too much. Because the more we invest, uh, the more painful uh, uh, it can be, you know, to uh, lose something or lose uh, an idea or to lose uh, something that you really want. And I invested a lot, in my opinion, more than I'm used to, uh, at least emotionally and mentally. And she did too, in many ways, I think. And I just didn't like her not answering quickly enough. I mean, in my opinion, she would take a long time to answer a message. And I fucking hated that, you know? And she would tell me that she uh, hadn't gone on Facebook, and I was like, well, so what? You know, in my fucking head. I mean, if you like someone, and if you're creating something with someone, uh, fucking go out of your way to check if they send you a fucking message. I don't know, that's what I think, you know? Uh, even if you have a hundred other things going on, it's all about fucking priorities. So she went to Playa del Carmen and uh, I would see her Snapchats, you know, and I would see how she was having a lot of fun, which is cool, and uh, partying and drinking and uh, living la vida loca and with different guys. And I overwhelmed her, you know, I started asking her about who the fuck this guy was or uh, why the fuck she didn't answer my message and I overwhelmed her I think and impulsively I think <laughs> you see it's all my perception this is all something I feel or I felt uh, she told me that uh, she was a fucking free spirit uh, and that she uh, didn't want us to have anything uh, in that moment uh, and that her job was very complicated and that uh, it wasn't gonna work basically I think and I was like fuck I just uh, learned so many fucking things uh, the next days you know and ever since I realized man I've been so fucking blinded to her being very beautiful very pretty very sexy even but is this the kind of girl you want to date because here to be honest with you and I am almost finished <laughs> I felt fucking disrespected you know because she would say well they're my friends you know this guy is on snapchat uh, well I know fucking guys and I know that if they're not fucking gay they want to fucking fuck you <laughs> uh, at least 99% of them so that's another subject about men and women being friends. If there's attraction, the friendship is not fucking real. If there's no attraction, then it can be real. But I just felt disrespected. I just felt that I wasn't that important as uh, she had said I was. Uh, I just uh, hate when people don't say what they mean and don't mean what they say. And I just felt that I had been an idiot, you know, and that I um, had uh, created this idea in my head and that fucking idea was fucking crushed. And that's what happened. <laughs> but now I'm fucking better and I'm more conscious and more centered and more at peace. <laughs>